This beautiful marina in Seattle is where a 30-foot sailboat named the Draco docked last August. That's where nine-year-old Billy Hansen spent his summer visit with his father, Jeffrey Hansen. But on September 4th, instead of putting Billy on a plane home to his mother in Pennsylvania, Hansen took off, taking Billy with him out to the deep blue sea. Billy's mother feared for her child's safety. She knew Hansen had a dark side. There were concerns that he uh, was using narcotics and it was unsafe. With no time to waste, investigators in Seattle set off on a search as wide as the Pacific, coordinating with the Coast Guard, seven different divisions of the FBI, eight local, national, and international law enforcement agencies, and the National Center. Blasting Billy's information to ships, embassies, islands, looking for a little boy in a small sailboat in a giant ocean. So the greatest worry was, because they were out on the Pacific Ocean, that we really had no sightings or no tips to follow up on. For two months, Hansen eluded authorities and avoided dry land. Then on October 30th, the Draco dropped anchor on the shores of Niue, an island nation northeast of New Zealand. Expecting to be anonymous, Hansen was in for a big surprise. And this woman had seen the report of Billy being missing. As soon as they landed on, on Nui, saw Billy, and immediately went to the chief of police and reported it. Hansen was taken to the local jail and extradited on the first plane out. Meanwhile, Billy stayed with a local couple until Seattle agents could safely accompany him home. It just shows the hospitality of our, our little island. But the boy simply had to stay behind because there was no available seats on the flight. So we had to make sure that we send the father out first and then the son will follow. Overjoyed to be finally going home, Billy thanked the New Wayans as he headed back to Pennsylvania and the waiting arms of his mother.